Hey everyone, so if you're tired of opening a new 3D unit project and seeing this terrible skybox here, there are a few things that you can do that will change it very quickly. The first one, just create an empty new material, change it from shader, it's shader from standard to skybox procedural, and you can either drag it on the screen or you can go on window, rendering, lighting, environment, and then putting it here, you know. And then you can tweak, you know, like the sun size. Yeah, you can see the sun here on top. You can see, you can tweak this convergence, the atmosphere thickness, the tint of the sky. You can tweak a lot of stuff, you know. Yeah, it's somewhat better like this, but it's still, you know, terrible. It still hurts my eyes. But right now with this contrast here, you can have something like Mars, you know, like some cyan and orange contrast. Okay, it's already a little bit better. But if you want to make it even better, just type free skybox in the Unity Asset Store and download any single one that is free and that you like. I've downloaded this free stylized skybox one. Then you import it on your project and I put mine into this plugins folder. And then you come to customizable skybox, you click on stylized sky materials and you choose any one that you like and just drag it to the screen and it will be, you know, applied to your scene. To go even further with this freestylized skybox here, you can choose from cube map or panoramic. They are almost the same, but let's just go with panoramic and materials and just apply this day A15 here. And finally, to wrap up this video, let's do a simple trick that will make it, when you play it, that will make the sky rotate and a little bit of a night day cycle here. Okay, let's see how we can do it very, very quickly. First things first, the first thing we need is just a object to know with this script over here that I'll just show you in a minute. And what does this script do? It simply gets the material for, for our skybox, sets a um, lapse of time to zero, a time scale that you can change so it goes lower or faster, gets some read-only properties, uh, in this case the rotation and the exposure, and on update it increases the lapse of time Rotates, you know, set float to the rotation, to this, you know, this value over here, just so it keeps rotating forever and ever. And then the exposure goes on a, on this senoidic curve, you know, and it's going to repeat forever between a small number, in this case the 0 0.15, and the one number. That's why I'm clamping it, because otherwise that would get too dark and I wouldn't like that. And once you create it, you just drag your material here, plugins, freestyle box, panoramic, materials, you just change time, you just drag it here, and you can just play your game and your sky will be rotating and cycling between day and night easily. So that's it guys, that's how you can tweak your skybox from the default one to more stylized ones very easily, very simply. And one final tip, if you ever find yourself confused on what variables you can change on your skybox. Just come here, you know, on the material, just click here on the on these dots and edit shader, and then you'll see all properties that you can tweak. That's how I found the exposure and the rotation, okay? That's it for today. If you like it, give it a like. If you like those tips and much more beyond to help you, your games grow, please consider subscribing, okay? I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.